our goal is really to take videos from YouTube and we want to make video editing really easy. Like people, what they typically do in like video games, you know, you want to animate a virtual character, you want to do this with like real videos. You want to take an existing video and you want to have an actor like reenacting that video, basically changing the motion of the characters in this video. What people have been doing in the, in the movie industry, they typically have like expensive 3D rigs, they have all the 3D data. For a video, you don't have that, you just have a 2D image. And from a 2D image, you need to basically recover all the 3D information first, and then you can change it. So this is kind of the challenge. And the other big challenge is we want to do this really fast. So we have a lot of applications in mind where like real time is a very critical aspect for us, so compute is kind of very important to us. So the hardware we're using right now is, is basically um, all the GTX Titans that are out there right now. It's like a supercomputer in a single machine, and that allows us to basically achieve the real-time concepts. And we use CUDA as a programming platform. We also use DirectX as a programming platform. We're using the graphics rendering pipeline, and we're using the compute pipeline. It was kind of good that this was you know, in a single unified framework. I mean, currently we got a lot of media attention because we know it's pretty hard to manipulate videos. People thought it's, you know, it was easy with images, but now um, we, we showed in a demo that it's also possible with videos, and we also demoed that it's, it's doable in real time. And obviously there are a lot of applications beyond that. So like for virtual and augmented reality, I think this is an, an interesting field. You have Skype translation right now going on. So can you go ahead and um, change the mouth motion of somebody who is doing a Skype call in a different language? And, so how can you do these kind of things in order to make it look more realistic? Or for movies, for video dubbing, it's kind of interesting. In the next research projects, we're really focusing on, on, on the rest of the body, essentially. So the real challenge here is that for faces, you can, you know, it's a bit easier because there are a lot of, lot of occlusions going on. You can basically get a good view of the face. Um, for the full body, it's a bit harder because you have a lot of occlusions. You need to do the motion tracking. You need to do it from a single RGB video. And that kind of thing is really is harder. But it's also more interesting if you think about it um, for video editing tools again. Like if you really want to make, you know, Photoshop for a video possible, like this is exactly what you need to do.